the difference between hydrogen cars and electric vehicles? Well, wonder no more. Today, we'll dive deep into the core differences, the advantages and the disadvantages of these two types of eco-friendly transportation. Firstly, let's dissect what's under the hood. The heart of an electric vehicle, or EV, is its battery. These vehicles run on electric motors powered by rechargeable batteries. On the other hand, hydrogen cars, also known as fuel cell electric vehicles, or FCEVs, operate on electricity too. But this electricity is generated through a chemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen in their fuel cells. So what about refueling and recharging? Electric vehicles require charging stations, where they need to be plugged in for a few hours to get back on the road. Hydrogen cars, however, refuel quite similar to conventional cars. They need a hydrogen filling station and the process takes just a few minutes, a sharp contrast to the time taken by electric vehicles. When it comes to range and efficiency, electric vehicles usually have the upper hand. Electric vehicles can travel up to 300 miles on a single charge, depending on the model. Hydrogen cars, despite their quick refueling time, typically have a lesser range of about 200 to 300 miles on a full tank of hydrogen. The environmental impact of these vehicles is another vital aspect to consider. Both electric vehicles and hydrogen cars are zero emission vehicles at the tailpipe. Electric vehicles emit no greenhouse gases as they run on electricity. Hydrogen cars, on the other hand, emit only water vapor as a byproduct of the chemical reaction in their fuel cells. However, it's important to scrutinize the source of the energy used. For electric vehicles, if the electricity comes from burning fossil fuels, then the overall environmental benefit is reduced. For hydrogen cars, while hydrogen is abundant, it's challenging to isolate, and the process often involves natural gas, which can contribute to greenhouse gas emissions. In conclusion, the main differences between hydrogen cars and electric vehicles lie in their energy sources, refueling process, range, and overall environmental impact. While electric vehicles are more energy efficient and have a wider range, hydrogen cars offer quicker refueling times. Both are steps towards a greener future, but their environmental benefits depend largely on how their energy is sourced. In the end, the choice between hydrogen cars and electric vehicles will depend on individual preferences and circumstances. The journey to a sustainable future is a long one, and both these vehicles have a role to play in it. So the next time you see a hydrogen car or an electric vehicle, you'll know a bit more about what makes them tick. Ever pondered the magic that makes your car move? It's not sorcery, but automotive fuel technology, the unsung hero of every journey you embark on. Today, we delve into the fascinating world of this technology, comparing and contrasting the different types that keep our wheels spinning. In the early days of the automobile, there was only one type of fuel, gasoline. This petroleum-based fuel was a game-changer in its time, powering the first cars and ushering in a new era of transportation. Gasoline is known for its high energy density and ease of use, but it's not without its drawbacks. Gasoline engines emit harmful pollutants like carbon dioxide and nitrogen oxides, contributing to global warming and air pollution. Then came diesel, a fuel technology that offered better fuel economy compared to gasoline. Diesel engines are known for their efficiency and torque, making them ideal for heavy-duty vehicles like trucks and buses. However, diesel also has its drawbacks. It's notorious for emitting particulate matter and nitrogen oxides, which can have harmful effects on human health and the environment. In the face of these challenges, the world turned to alternative fuels. One of these is biofuels, which are made from organic matter like corn or sugarcane. Biofuels burn cleaner than gasoline or diesel, reducing emissions of greenhouse gases. However, they require a significant amount of land for production, potentially leading to deforestation and biodiversity loss. Another alternative is natural gas. Vehicles running on natural gas emit fewer pollutants than those fueled by gasoline or diesel. However, natural gas has a lower energy density, meaning cars need larger fuel tanks to cover the same distance. Plus, natural gas infrastructure is still underdeveloped in many parts of the world. Then there's the new kid on the block. Electric power, electric vehicles or EVs emit no tailpipe pollutants, making them a green alternative to conventional cars. They're powered by rechargeable batteries which can be charged at home or at public charging stations. However, the production and disposal of these batteries can have environmental impacts. Finally, we have hydrogen fuel cell vehicles.
they produce electricity by combining hydrogen and oxygen, with the only byproduct being water. However, the production of hydrogen often involves natural gas, which can lead to greenhouse gas emissions. Plus, hydrogen infrastructure is still in its infancy. To sum up, each automotive fuel technology has its strengths and weaknesses. Gasoline and diesel offer high energy density but emit harmful pollutants. Biofuels and natural gas are cleaner alternatives but come with their own challenges. Electric power is promising but has impacts related to battery production and disposal, and hydrogen is a clean but still developing technology. The choice of automotive fuel technology is not just about performance or cost. It's also about the impact on our planet. As we journey into the future, the challenge is to develop and adopt technologies that not only move us forward, but also safeguard our environment. Remember, the road to a sustainable future is a journey, not a destination.